And there's one team that could take on Markkinen that could actually give us a little bit more back. And that's, do the Rockets say, because the Rockets want to keep building this really nice young core, right? I, mm-hmm. I know they really need to bring a defender to help out Christian Wood, but do the Rockets say, we're going to move on from Eric Gordon. We'll give you Eric Gordon and one of those Brooklyn first round picks, which would be like 28 or 29. Do you offer that for Laurie Markkinen? And do, do the Cavs accept that? Because, you know, Gordon's still on like two years of like 16 million a season. And he's like 34 now. But he's just such a solid player, wasting his time on a bad team. So, I don't know. What do you think? Do the Rockets rate? Would he? Would Markkinen be a guy for them? I don't even know if Laurie Markkinen truly fits Houston. Mm. mainly because uh, I think they have a lot of – because you're right, they do need a defender at that power forward spot to try to help. But I think they low-key want at least uh, Sagoon and then the uh, Ken Martin Jr. and all those forwards to kind of get those minutes. Um, I guess you could argue Larry Market could play the small forward in Houston as well. But uh, – I don't know. I don't think I don't think he'd be the guy because defensively, because yeah. defensively he doesn't solve the problem <laughs> um, that you're looking for. Maybe from a size standpoint, yeah, but from a defensive standpoint, no. And then offensively, I, I think he he'd be okay for Houston, but yeah. not what not they want. Right. So we've kind of so, ruled out all our options then. Who do the Cavaliers <laughs> trade for? Yeah. That, and that's the tricky part because, <laughs> I mean, you know the player you got to trade or well, if it's going to be a big name, it's going to be Laurie. But at yeah. the same time, it's like, <laughs> do you want another ball handler? Mm. Do you want to try to get a wing? Do you yeah. like if we really wanted a wing, if the price for Cam Reddish was really that low, <laughs> we could have gave up that for Cam Reddish. Right. Could have. And not even that's have to trade for marketing. Like, that we wouldn't true. have played Laurie Markkinen either. We would have had him for essentially free. Yeah. We, so so, the, so the, the trade idea I had really for Jetty Osmond, we really could have just gave up Jetty Osmond in the second round, and we would have been good. And on you know that. why? And they, you're why, the second round. Yeah, true. Through the wastelands, through the house.